Hey there, and welcome back to the video series about creating charts in JavaFX. We did the bar chart, and that worked after we corrected a mistake there. And um, now it's time to do the pie chart. So the first thing is to, we need to create the data, and we also need to create the actual pie chart. So we're starting with the data here, and we need to make uh, an observable list of data for the pie chart. So we're going to use this observable list here and I'm going to use it for pie chart data. And this is a generic that we're typing here. Uh, so it's going to be an observable list consisting of data for the pie chart. And I need to have an import there. Oop. We're just going to call this pie chart data. And then we are using kind of a static class to actually create this observable list. And why are we doing this? Why are we using an observable list? This is because in JavaFX you can use observable list to kind of synchronize your data. So uh, if you have a change in the data, then the UI will be updated if you have a change from the database or something like that. So that's why it's called observable. So we're going to create a new pie chart entry. And just as before, we're going to use the same data. And yeah, we could optimize this because we're doing the same coding as we did in the in the bar chart. Uh, but I'm not not going to look at optimization or refactoring in this in this project here. So that was a 100 there and B and C. So, uh, so basically, we ha we've inserted three pieces of data into our observable list. So it works much the same way as an array list. Okay, so next thing is to create the pie chart. And for some reason, my auto import is not working, I think. Whoop. Oh yeah, I think it is maybe a uh, pie chart. Pie chart. And that wants the, let's see if we go to the constructor here. Uh, it can take an observable list in the constructor. So we're going to provide pie chart data with our pie chart object here. Okay, so now we have a a whole different or a whole variety here of setups. We can set the title for that. So we're going to put the title for our products. So we also need to decide uh, the direction, uh, how they should be aligned in this pie chart here. So there is a, a method here called set clockwise. And uh, so that's going to be aligned clockwise in the pie chart. And then we are also setting some other set label line length. And that is what it says here. It's going to um, set the length of this uh, line that will contain the label in the pie chart. We can see that later on. We're going to provide 50 in this setting here. And set labels visible if we want to see the labels. And finally, set start angle. So that's going to set the angle to, um, to start the first pie slice, basically. And we're going to provide this with 180. And so that is some basic setup in our data and the and the pie chart object. Let's just create pie chart object here. Okay. So if we if we do, let's just take our border pane. Border pane. Set center, and then we have. We input the pie chart as we did in the bar chart. 
Okay, so let's see what happens if we build this uh, object here. So we have a pie chart here, and I can also extend that one there. And the, it should reflect the data that we provided. We had th 3,000, half, and then we have 100 there. Okay, so that is two ways of making uh, charts in Java. So now we have the pie chart and we have the bar chart and in the next video we're gonna do the functionality where because we had an edit button or edit menu item and you, we could update the data and nothing happens right now. So in the next video we're gonna create the code for actually modifying the data at uh, runtime. Thanks for watching and I hope you can make this work. Bye bye.